African uh, that that we really uh, uh, in the beginning of our struggle really came with the beginning of slavery. We've been at it for 400 years, and if it was really a Christian nation, we wouldn't have two sets of churches for those that came late and those that came early, Amen. for those that were rich and those that are poor. For those that were uh, that uh, were made rich, not necessarily be, uh, uh, made themselves rich, but made rich at the cost of those who were poor, and we're still doing it. Anytime anybody is hungry, that is our problem. <laughs> when we say we're worthy of our faith, I'm not for certain we can say we're worthy of our faith until, in fact, Everybody has a decent house to live in, has a decent education, can eat every day, know that they got a future, and understands that their humanity is the most important thing in the world to everybody. It's that kind of understanding that makes finally a movement. But you have to, in fact, stay at a movement until it is the task is over. That's right. Is that this is why I love this group. Because you represent that as a possibility for mankind. See, is that if we really went by the normal kinds of understandings, we would never change the culture. But because, <clears throat> because we grabbed this nation at the important point and made it face its evil, made it face, face its, its accepted evil, the accepted evil is worse than that individual uh, uh, evil. When we don't call it evil, we don't have a chance to change it. And we should be calling it evil when we see people hungry. Somebody has, is in the process of committing an evil that should be corrected. That's right. And they need to be told that. Is that, uh, uh, you see, we're too nice to uh, people, you know? Just tell them what's wrong with them, right? It becomes very clear that uh, one of the, I, I found doing workshops across the nation, one of the hardest things for white people to do is to tell another white person that they are racist. <laughs> Yet it can't be changed until those in the churches, uh, uh, out in the suburbs, right, uh, will change those who they sit with on Sunday morning is that, is that the preacher is just an in-between. The change agent has to be those who really take seriously the meaning of their faith. And the hearty, there's only three important words really, right? And uh, 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 truth, justice, and love. <laughs> And if you make truth, justice, and love your religion, it doesn't matter what you call it, right? It becomes, uh, if you are willing to love, you already have the importance of one of the religions, truth, or another, justice, the other. Most people in the world, regardless of what language they speak, get it in those terms. That's the real movement that has to go on in the world, where we really believe the religion we say we're part of. Uh, and when we live it, uh, when we live it, is the only time we know that we really made it truthfully worthy, uh, worthy of it. You know, it, it's, uh, 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 you know, when we started this movement, this movement started, as I said, when we, when we, we were brought over here for slavery mm -hmm. because no man should be a slave to another man. That's right. 
uh, no, no child should ever grow up believing he is superior just because of the color of his skin. Uh, and we, but we can't change what we need to change until we change that fact. Right? And it's still a reality that we think that money is more important than men. And if you've got a lot of money, somehow you are better than other people. That's right. Uh, if these are the real evils in our society, far more than what we normally can call evil. If you can, if you can call it evil very quickly, it probably isn't the most important evil that we go to. It, it's uh, uh, if uh, uh, we, we really think drinking is an evil. Well, it's not good for you, but it will, but it's worse than the other things that we put up with. When you put up with the fact that a man should be able and a woman should be a, I looked at your sister and I thought I'd better add that. When you really, when you really uh, uh, think of it that way, is that that's when we're beginning to deal with evil. And you know, I was thinking about uh, uh, the, the profound simplicity of Jesus. You know, here, here, here is that, but it's also true of other places as well. We just hear it more from Christians because we're around them, all right? But you see, that there is, there's a profound, when you can say, it, when you can say, uh, uh, who created mankind? And we generally say God, right? uh, if we've been trained properly. <laughs> and now, now, now uh, the thing is, is that uh, uh, the next thing we say, well, uh, 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 does God love his creation? Well, we normally say yes. Then, What's wrong with uh, you if you, uh, uh, something's wrong with you if you can't allow uh, people who are born gay to have a decent life in a world where you love God, God loves people, and you still want to say that they're not good enough to be fully human. It's the same story when they were saying the same thing about us. Because our skin is black, hmm? then there must be something wrong with us and we're not as good as when your skin is white. In the profound simplicity of Jesus, it just has to love people. And if you're not willing to love people,
is that uh, 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 they will so buy up everything that you will be have to pay rent for the rest of your life if you're going to be close to your work. Is that uh, if that's not slavery, then we're not clear on the first one. That's right. <laughs> Is that uh, and if we're not willing to fight to change it for the benefit of all the people, then we are not good enough to be the people we think we are. Well, that, that is that's that's a central uh, central problem. Uh, 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 and the second thing we wanted was an end of slavery for everybody. But well, we act like it was just for black people. It's an end of slavery for everybody. That's right. And now we're beginning to see uh, uh, slavery in our streets in forms that uh, we thought would never be. And that it couldn't be because we are a Christian nation. Well, the only way we can prove it hmm, is in fact to think about this profound simplicity of Jesus. Right? And without it, we miss it. Uh, uh, we wanted five things. And, and, uh, and uh, when we, and we think of it, that's only two of them. But education was one thing we wanted. And the right to vote was the other thing we wanted, right? And, uh, and in the process, we have changed every institution in American life. In the process of wanting just those five things and staying with it. To get one has never been enough. To get two was not enough. We found out as we moved is that the culture did not change because we changed one of them. The culture will not change until we change all five of them. And, uh, and, uh, and, and I'm not talking about the culture changing for us. I'm talking about the culture really changing. This is what has been behind the movement, but our young people don't know it because they think the movement meant that you just walk down the street and, uh, and, and carry, carry a placard and you have to sing a song and if they don't want you there, then you're willing to walk away without the fight continuing, which meant that they don't think that what you're fighting for is worth it. That's right. In fact, for many of us, if our grandparents, and our grandmothers in particular, I will add that one fully, sister, right? <laughs> uh, 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 and our grandmothers in particular had not uh, taught us properly we wouldn't have known how important it was That's right. is that we all have to be teaching each other what it is all about. In the process, we've changed every institution in this culture. And that's the job that has to be done, not one at a time, but in fact to do it all while we're at it. And what we have done, uh, 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 we can, what we have done once, we can do again. That's the real message of the movement. The real message of the movement is do it again.
uh, 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 we wanted land, we got it. Uh, but it didn't change things.